One of the most common ways of playing Hearthstone is being free to play. In other words, not spending any money and building a collection from the hard sweat and tears of playing the game. And getting the highest rank in Hearthstone as a free to play player is an amazing accomplishment. But what if I took it a step further? Is it possible to get Legend without opening a single pack? That includes any packs given for free, packs you would pay with in-game gold, and most importantly, the pack that Trailblazer Elise would give you from Angoro. So I made a brand new account on the European server and what might be the hardest challenge I've ever done in all of my Hearthstone career starts now. All right, I have no idea what we get as a free to play player for the year of the unicorn. So this will be interesting. I don't need the tutorial. I know how to play this game. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a pretty decent Hearthstone player, despite what my YouTube comments might say about me. I have achieved rank one legend before, which is the highest rank you could actually get in Hearthstone. It's fair to say that I'm pretty decent at this game and hopefully this challenge will not actually be as difficult for me all right so we got Toronto for free you got a Toronto card back I want to skip apprenticeship because I don't really care it's not like I need the free packs anyways now obviously this seems like a very harmless thing to do but here's the thing this was actually a ginormous mistake but to fully understand why we first have to see what kind of cards I have so I do want to grab for sure you and I don't know if I have a deck do I have a deck okay so we have a deck oh these look beautiful wow okay some of you might be confused on how I got these cards Blizzard added a core set in 2021 and the purpose of the core set is to provide a modern collection of starting cards to players the problem is is that most of these cards aren't amazing and are often just used as placeholders until you collect better ones which means these cards aren't really gonna cut it if I want to hit legend but thankfully Blizzard gives you even more stuff here's the good news Blizzard gives you decks for free okay what is the best deck here I guess it doesn't really matter we can kind of go through all of them until we get bored these six decks are loader decks and these are very important because because they contain updated meta cards that you could use for one week, but it gets even better. After your week is over, you could pick one of these decks to add every card from it into your collection. And believe me, we're gonna need those cards, which is why skipping the apprenticeship was so bad. The apprenticeship pass gives you a lot more than just packs. You get a lot of gold and you get two free somewhat meta decks. And one of them is actually really good right now. So if I ever have to do this challenge again, I would never skip this. But for this run, we will be focusing on these six decks. All of them are playable, and for the vast majority of this climb, they will be adequate enough to compete with real meta decks. We start this challenge at Bronze 10. The players in this rank generally are still learning the game, which allows us to play all of the loner decks and learn which one is the best one to take after the seven days are up. I didn't lose a single game during my time in Bronze, and most importantly, I was having a lot of fun. And it was important that I was having fun now because I knew eventually this challenge would start to wear me down and believe me I wish I could stay in bronze forever as I was at bronze one and about to hit silver I realized that I haven't gotten my rewards from the battle pass let's go do that okay what can I use here okay so we can we have two nostalgic initiates which is nice two uh character artists which is great two toy makers which is great a spicy epic which is playable a uh, wind up machine which is good a beautiful card back may i add hold on i gotta think about what legend i actually want here <laughs> even though my legendary did suck i got silver with no problems whatsoever now silver is where things started to heat up a bit people were playing meta decks and i could tell the skill level has definitely gone up Did anyone else just gag in their mouth a little bit? But I still wasn't too worried. I figured out which of the loner decks were best for me, and it was actually going to make for a very tough decision at the end of the seven days. The Death Knight deck was arguably the best one to pick. Not only is it really close to the optimized meta version, but it has the most legendaries out of all of these decks. The Rogue one by far was the most fun, and it was a pretty good deck as well. The real benefit of this deck is each game felt unique and allowed for some really wacky stuff to happen. Finally, the Warrior deck was a pretty great control deck and with a couple of additions this could easily get me legend i continued my climb through silver without losing a game up until this point until i put my faith into yogg wait the game's over no 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 no, it can't be. No, I'm good. But I draw two cards. No, but I draw two cards. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm not that. I, if I live, if I believe hard enough, I lot. 
You know what? Listen, at least as I died, I got head. After that loss, I decided to end the day there and I came back on day two with a couple of surprises. Califrio, I don't know if we're going to use them, unfortunately. Hearth Stone Brew. Okay, so this is a real card that I might end up using. What have I not grabbed from here? I'm just going to grab these packs. I I'm going to be curious to see how many packs I end up with at the end of this challenge. Currently, we have Zippo Dust. And if I look at new cards, we have a couple of them because we do get a couple from the Battle Pass. These are also really good. And then that's pretty much it. Let's get to it. All right, hopefully today we can hit gold. The climb today started off relatively easy. I was able to win a lot of my games and with a couple of close calls, I was able to get silver five. That's an accomplishment in itself, but I do want to direct your attention to the amount of time that actually took me to get there. I have been doing this challenge for around three and a half hours and I've only achieved silver five. And with the clock ticking down on the loner decks, I had to try to do this as fast as possible before I was stuck with basically one deck. Nice. Okay. So we get another one, another wind up machine, which is good. Probably not going to play it. One of the things Hearthstone added recently was achievements. And some of the achievements actually give you packs or cards. So I was able to get more cards without opening any packs. And one of the things I forgot to mention about these loader decks is I actually can't edit them until I select one at the end of the time trial. So all these cards will sit in my collection until then. The rest of the day went pretty well. I ended the stream at silver three. And overall, I was still feeling very optimistic about this challenge. We only have have four days and four hours left of this of these decks right here starting off at day three I basically only had one goal in mind which was getting gold and it honestly didn't take me that long that's gold bitch little did I know this is where the challenge actually started the ranks before this were basically the easy mode the training wheels of this challenge if you will and the biggest reason for that was the decks I was going against a lot of players were either also using the loner decks or were playing their own homebrew decks once I entered gold basically every single player was using a meta deck but at least we did get more cards to our collection but gold took me a lot longer to climb than both bronze and silver and I don't mean by a little bit I mean a lot to get from bronze 10 to gold it took me around four and a half hours just to go from gold 10 to gold 7 one star took me two and a half hours hours and not only was I worried if it was possible to beat this challenge but my mental health was already taking else oh okay that's that's my ass I want to say goodbye to my ass well, at least we're gold seven you know I decided to end stream here and play a little bit off stream last time we ended stream I think I was like gold seven now we're gold four I'm gonna be honest things are getting a little tough I think that I'm getting to the point where people are playing like really good decks like the, the top meta decks and it's it's causing me some problems I'm getting a little nervous if I'm gonna be real with you I'm gonna be I'm very nervous uh and I also got gold five which means there should be what is this okay we get more cards I believe here right no, I got a pack. Now, some of you might be wondering, why don't you just wait for the time to go out on the loader deck so you can pick one and then make card adjustments to it so you have a real meta deck? I know this sounds really stupid, but if I was going to play the same deck for this entire challenge, I think I would go insane. So the fact that most of these decks are somewhat playable is already a huge benefit for me. And if I lose more games just because I don't have an optimized deck, I feel like that's a trade off for my mental health is at least what I thought going into the next day, starting at gold four. Oh my god. No, not Yogg. Anything but Yogg. Okay, hold on. Maybe we win these. Nice. Nice. That's that's great, dude. That was that was pretty cool. Dude, there's like what the fuck? And then he gets the hero power and kill another dude, like what? I've done this for 10 hours, John, and I'm eating my ass. This day was really draining. In fact, this was probably the hardest day by far that I've had. I don't know if it was my RNG or the opponents I was going against, but a lot of games just felt really out of my control. Boys, we lost this game. Let's be real. I can't win this. Oh, buddy. Okay, maybe I can craft a deck because I feel like at this point I'm going around fucking circle, dude. I was so tilted that I legitimately thought that I could make a better deck than one of the Lunar decks. Let me tell you what's about to happen. We're going to play one game. I'm going to lose and I'm going to move on. I'm at five life. This game fixed my marriage problems. That was awesome. I am broken. What am 
I doing? Why am I playing that? We're going back. As you can see, I'm a pretty great deck builder. But oddly enough, losing with my own creation made me really appreciate the loader decks. And I was committed at this point to do as well as I could with them. Because if that's the deck I could build with my current card selection, I got to make the most out of these loader decks. And this also let me pinpoint what I believe the two best were out of all of the loner decks. The Death Knight one was the obvious choice. It was consistent. It was very close to a meta deck. And most importantly, it would allow me to craft minimal cards to actually achieve legend. But the rogue deck was so much fun, and it was honestly the real shining star of this entire challenge. The greatest thing about this deck is the randomness aspect of it. This deck is basically built around generating randomness, and it allows each game to play so uniquely that I was never bored playing it. And I was actually climbing quite a bit with this suboptimal version of rogue. Your turn. One more game, boys. One more, and I could be platinum. Holy shit. I mean, I have to hit face here, dude. Like, there's no way I'm not. Like, infinite damage. Like, this goes here, and this goes here. Holy moly, Fajolis. That took me so long, bro. Oh my God, it took me five hours to get from gold four to platinum, dude. Five hours. I was able to get from platinum 10 to plat five using this rogue deck off stream. And the only reason I decided to do it off stream is because this challenge was kind of taking over my life and I wanted to get it out of the way as soon as possible. And surprisingly, the rogue deck, which I still consider not very great, was doing very well for me. Ooh, breakdance is also good. Does it lets me bounce that, obviously. Let's do it. Wow. You're going to just drop a jive insect on me. Um, Sure. Let's do this. And then we can do this. And then we can do this. And that's probably game, which is excellent. <laughs> I love winning. Let's go, dude. I fucking hit plat five. For the record, I don't think I've ever been happier to hit platinum five in my life. And I was really hoping I could take this newfound confidence and motivation and go all the way to diamond without a single problem. Oh! All right, do that board. Oh my <laughs> I'm gonna lose this. It's gonna be so fucking depressing. I think this challenge is really starting to daunt on me. The fact is, if I don't hit legend, all of this time was for absolutely nothing. Also, this specific meta of Hearthstone, there's a lot of lethality, and you could die pretty quickly on turn five or turn six, and that definitely got me towards my breaking point. But on the bright side, playing this much Hearthstone has allowed me to get highlights I have never seen before in my 10 years of Hearthstone. I need something insane here. But it's also shown me the complete opposite side, the worst RNG in Hearthstone. What in tarnation?
No, no. I don't have the mental for this, bro. I don't have the mental for this. Oh, okay. I liked you until you emoted me. All right, I might do this off stream, boys. After my stream was over and I took a little bit of a break, it was right back on the grind for me to hit diamond off stream. And thankfully, it didn't take me that long. Today we have to pick our loner deck and this is a very big deal because this is basically the deck that we will be using for the rest of the challenge. I have to make sure we pick a competitive deck, but also a deck that I'm just not going to like throw up because I have to play it over and over again. Honestly, think the rogue one might be the one I'm going to pick because I've had the most fun and I've surprised of actually how good the rogue one has been. And then we also have the the death knight deck. I'm genuinely worried for diamond five onwards because diamond five onwards is where like the real sweat comes in. Like you, you got to play like an absolute mastermind. And if everyone's countering demon hunter at diamond five, that means warrior is going to be really popular. Therefore, rogue is not going to be as good because it's not the best against warrior. I'd have to get like turbo lucky. Yeah, I'm picking this. I'm sorry. I have to do it. I have to do it. We do have this to get. Please not a pack. After picking the Death Knight deck, it was finally time to craft some cards. And I have been waiting for this because as much as I love the versatility of the loner decks, it was time to get Legend. So I went into the collection, disenchanted the cards that I am allowed to. Not every single card you get for free is disenchantable. Some of them are in your collection forever. I was able to manage to get around 500 dust from all the cards. And that was more than enough because I only really needed commons and rares to make this a full meta deck. And immediately after the climb became so much easier. The cards that I crafted actually made a significant difference in most of the matchups I was going against. And for the first time in a very long time in this challenge, I was very optimistic that I could hit legend because before I even knew it. Wait, wait, we're fine. Nice. Let's go, boys. That's diamond five. Let's go. Huge. Oh, yes, dude. Let's go. Hitting diamond five for me on any other day, I wouldn't even smile. But after doing this challenge for 26 hours, hitting diamond five was like winning the lottery. And even though this is a ginormous accomplishment, it's still not legend. And I was genuinely worried for how much longer this challenge would take me. If history is any indication, diamond five to legend arguably takes the longest out of my climbs because this is where the sweatiest gamers come come to play. But I am also a sweaty gamer, and I was determined to make sure that this was the last stream of this challenge. But unfortunately for me, the next three hours, I was stuck in Diamond 5. See, the Death Knight deck was still the best one to pick out of all of the loner decks, but the way that it lined up in the current metagame wasn't great. At the time I'm making this video, Plague Death Knight is considered a tier 4 deck, so I was still at a disadvantage. But there is one matchup that is considered very good for my deck, and that is against Warrior. The Death Knight deck that I have is known as Plague Death Knight. And one of the main win conditions is to shuffle plagues into your opponent's deck. And one of the legendary cards called Hell Yeah makes those plagues inevitable and they'll keep going back into your opponent's deck. And Warrior likes to play the long game. So Warrior is basically a free matchup. So I just have to hope I queue into a bunch of Warriors over and over and over again, and then I'll reach Legend. It's just that simple. Maybe I lean this package down a little bit. I decided to change a couple of cards based on how I found the games to be going. And this actually was one of the best decisions I've made because I started to win a lot more games. Chat, we're at Diamond 2. I have been streaming for six hours today, guys. Yes. 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 No. Okay. I guess the good news is like, let's go. Oh my God, Diamond 1. Oh man. Being at Diamond 1 was a huge relief for me. That means I'm only three wins away from getting Legend. The first match was against a Demon Hunter, the best class in the metagame that I was playing in. Luckily, their opener was less than optimal and I was able to win this game in a very spicy way. Oh 
Oh my god, bro. Boys, I might cry when this is done. With the stress building up, we go on to our very next game against a Death Knight. And fortunately for me, they were actually trying to counter Demon Hunter with their build, and I had a pretty good matchup into this. Thank you, Plagues. I appreciate you. Please, please, please. Yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, thank fucking god! Okay, 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 one more, one more, one more. The Lich King versus Illidan. What? What the fuck was that? Rock, please. Unfortunately, it is what it is. I have to do it. We have, th we have, we have enough. I think I can maybe get away with it. Okay, that sucks. But at least it's one turn behind. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna be at six, seventeen life after. If he weapons, he wants to hit this, which means I save three life. That's the hope. If I can get the rat, the rat boy. I'm just dead. Oh, he's just going face. I'm just dead. I'm just dead. Oh, that's incredible. I mean, I have to do this. No, no, don't have it, please. Oh, my God. What is so depressing? It's so depressing. It's so depressing. It's so depressing. Okay. I'll do one more. I'll do one more loss. That's disgusting. What the fuck? Oh, Priest is the. Really? 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 Oh, God. If he... I didn't die there, like... Oh. All right, boys. I'm on stream here. I'm on stream here. I'm on stream here. I can't. It's a downward spiral ready to happen. I can't. I can't. I can't. I have to end it here. While I was walking on the treadmill to get back to Diamond 1, three stars. Which means we are literally one game away, chat, from getting legit without opening a single pack last night after i ended stream i was depressed i was like man it's gonna kill me if i don't get it today so today we gotta get it today we have to get it today are you guys ready chat for this last game potentially the final boss was against a demon hunter and in the metagame i'm playing in demon hunter is absolutely disgusting and they can kill you on turn five and turn six pretty easily uh no it's gg Yeah. Oh, that's so depressing, bro. It's just so sad because it just feels like there's nothing I could have done that game. Oh my God, I'm depressed. The next game was against a hunter and I was already nervous. This is a pretty bad matchup for me, but luckily their opener was pretty bad and I was able to win this game, getting right back to the final boss. Give me a warrior, please. Oh my fucking God, this might be it, boys. <sighs> All right, I just need Hell yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine.
he doesn't have like removal here it's so good for me because i could draw i like i need to get this card to draw me some cards honestly hell yeah is really good fuck he forged it too it's fine at least i get the three seven still on board psych Please, 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 please. Yeah, he has, he has, um, fuck. Draw me cards. Please give me Helia, bro. Like this game just becomes so easy if I have Helia, please. first removal here it's fine if i force the zilliax here it's also fine like this is this is okay it's okay i need to i need to find helio though he's gonna brawl it's fine helio please no 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 come on come on come on beautiful come on Brother, why won't this guy just concede, man? Oh my God. It's gonna make me sit here and just pray to God that he, somehow he wins this game. Like, uh, what's the win condition, bro? I guess he still has his excavate cards, but we have the rat, so it's not even that bad. Okay, so that's the excavate reward. Well, we have the rat. I don't, think have a, he, I don't think you have enough swings to actually kill this. He's another form of removal. Not it. Not it. sucks it's okay what what 
Oh, it's looking like a W, bro. It's looking like a fucking win. Oh my god. He gets one. Oh wait, that's a mech. Okay, it's not wait, is it a win? Hold on. It's not a win yet. Because he does get the healing. Oh my god, it's over, thank fucking god, bro. Dude, that was fucking 35 hours. I can't believe it's over, <laughs> thank god, dude, thank god. You know what this means? It is possible to get Legend and Hearthstone without opening a pack. There's only one more thing to do, chat. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.